Megan Mullally called me when I, I was a, an assistant editor at Iron Chef America, and uh, so you were very close to just like becoming like a yeah an a editor post production guy yeah yeah I would be like a post post production coordinator kind of person, and I was doing that, and I was in a Second City show, and her brother-in-law, Matt Offerman, Nick Offerman's brother, was in that show. And Megan Lally called me and said, hey, I just, I know you don't know me, but I was at the show uh, last week. I had dinner with Lauren Michaels yesterday, and I told him about you, and he, he'd love to meet you. And I was like, And how long have you what? been doing Second City at this point? Like a year. And wow. I was just, and I, w I just went, uh, okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> And then next thing I know, I'm in an office with Lauren, and he's like, do you know why you're here? <laughs> <laughs> I go, um, you saw Megan Lally saw me in a show, and he's like, yeah. Uh, and then he said, I was on a boat once with a guy, and he was being funny in the way that Bill Murray's funny. And I thought to myself, I know Bill Murray. And that was it. And I go, right. That was it. And he goes, it was very nice meeting you. Uh, when are you flying back? I go, I was going to fly back tomorrow. It was Friday. And he goes, you should stay and watch the show. Stay and watch the show on Saturday. And that was it. That and was the entire it, meeting. Yeah. And uh, the Topher Grace, when Topher Grace hosted SNL, he's taking questions from the audience. And you see way in the background, me and Mike Shoemaker standing against the thing. If you can find it, yeah, it's me in a white shirt, you know. Like, what am I doing here? I can't believe I'm here right now. This is And so that's cool. just in the audience. You can't believe you're in the audience. I can't even believe I'm in the audience. And I just went, well, I'll be able to tell my grandkids. I one time met Lauren Michaels. I was on Saturday Night Live. I, I actually was on Saturday Night Live. You could see me way in the background. Like I, And that would have been enough. That would have been enough. I mean, I went back elated and... So you, you know, go back and you're cutting Iron Chef America? Yeah, I was like, this is rad. Well, I just, you know, actually, I was, uh, I didn't say anything to anybody. I, no one knew. I said, oh, I got to take off tomorrow. And, and then he came to L.A. and saw me at Second City. We totally packed the audience with our friends, so we blew the roof off the place. And Lauren was, was like, were those all your friends in the <laughs> audience? And I said, yes. He's like, all right, then you have to come He's to like, New York. I've seen this trick before. He's like, ah, yes, no. Ellen Cleghorn did this. And, uh, <laughs> and then he had me come out to New York, and in the audience was all these kind of New York improvisers going, who, who the fuck are these guys? And in the front row was Tina Fey, Seth Meyers, Amy Poehler, Lauren, Marcy Klein, like everybody. And How, what'd that do for the anxiety? Uh, oh gosh, I just was gonna pass out. But you know what the problem with at that point? It wasn't that, it was too much, but there was also part of me that was like, I got nothing to lose. It wasn't your dream. It was like, well, this is crazy. Let's see what happens. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out.